All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick -em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just missed with the left there. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Caught the kick. Level change. The leg. Finish the takedown. Great job. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Elbow strike there by Sean O'Malley. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Twenty seconds left. Working on a guillotine. He's that guillotine. Oh, we're getting to finish here. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to... Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Second round underway. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a punch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Table inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice punch there by O'Malley. Trying to establish that jab one. Two. Right there, this is Robert He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rush. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, he might be a one. -two. Here is the hook to the head is blocked. Oh! I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, reverse 
reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. What finish this fight? Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And he caught the kick. He came, oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? Ten minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. position. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that. Go! Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got hurt bad! Unable to land with that punch. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. Goodness, what a fight. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sugar Shalom! Well, can you imagine 